I pray that is blessed. That is blessed with no stress. And that is not a mess. Hey, let the Lord clean it up. Yes. Hey, put them in a mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. So, real quick, I just want to come through. It ain't going to be real quick. Watch. Uh, and I'm prophesying. So, <laughs> really quick, I just want to tell you guys a story. So, this is story time. Story time with the bride of Christ. It's like. <laughs> But yeah, it's story time with the bride, aka Revelation 12, aka Miss Walk by Faith, not by sight, aka the Demon Slayer, aka can't nobody get past this one. So, <laughs> so yes, um, I want to tell you guys about how my family, you know what, how my earthly family tried to send me to a psych hospital. They tried to send me. To a psych ward. They wanted me in a mental home. I'm going to tell you the story. And I'm going to try to make it quick. Because I just. And we going to just. But yeah. So. This is what happened. One day. <laughs> one day. This day in particular. I really felt like God was coming. Well Jesus is God right. One day in particular, I felt like Jesus was coming. I don't know about Shaw, but they say that, like I've heard a lot of people say that they've had their moment where they thought the rapture was about to happen. But my story is very different. Y'all, do not judge me. And if you do, then guess what? You will be judged the same measure that you judged me. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, y'all. One particular day, I thought Jesus was coming. And I'm going to tell you why I thought he was coming. Because I heard the Lord say helicopters. I heard the Lord say helicopters. And that same day, I started feeling something in my body that I can't explain. Um, like, my feet, it started to feel not natural. Like, like, it felt like I was transitioning completely into my glorified body. Like, my spirit was changing like my body didn't feel natural like flesh and blood anymore it felt like a spiritual body and so does it still feel that way yes except right now i'm used to it at that time i wasn't but i really felt like the rapture was about to happen so i'm like oh my god he's talking about helicopters Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Should I pack my bags? Literally. Should I pack my bag? Oh wait, no. If I'm going to heaven, I don't need my bag. And I'm going crazy. I'm just like, oh my goodness, what's going on? So. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This is crazy. Then I thought, you know what? Maybe we're not. Maybe it's not the rapture. Maybe we're going to the wilderness. So I literally called my siblings. And I was like, y'all pack your bags. We're about to go to the wilderness. Make sure you have. <laughs> oh my God, I thought we were about to fly to the wilderness already. Like, it was that crazy. Imagine how you got to feel to feel like we about to go, like, now. Like, we about to go to a wilderness while the rest of the world feels the wrath of God. So, yeah, so that was happening. And then I started hearing familiar spirits. But at the time, I didn't understand what it was. I thought it was people, other people in the body of Christ. So, Long story short, I started hearing familiar spirits. And what the Lord revealed to me is that those familiar spirits that I was hearing is the souls that have not crossed over, the ones that will be thrown in hell. And so these familiar, I started seeing them in the spirit. They were so evil. They were so wicked. Um, they looked so demonic, like stuff you see in a scary movie. Reason for that. But it was so demonic. And... Yeah, so I started hearing them talking. They were so mad. Um, they were just so mad that they know that they're going to be thrown in the pit of hell. They want they want to stay on this earth roaming and using people as long as they can. So anyway, I'm going to just get to what happened. So I told my earthly grandmother, I was like, look, the rapture about to, it's about to pop off, okay? We're about to go. We are about to leave and Jesus is coming today, tonight. And she was like, you're tripping. Like she was telling me I'm tripping. She didn't even believe in Jesus. Now I know she's a witch. 
right? But that's another story. She does voodoo and all that. Had, had a voodoo doll hanging in her kitchen, just, just out there. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm like, Jesus is coming back. Blah, 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 blah. And then she didn't believe me. So I was like, you know what? You don't believe me? I'm going to prove it. I took my new sneakers I just bought. Took some scissors. And I took the tongue. Clipped them. Then, <laughs> so the tongue was literally cut off. Hmm. The tongue was cut off. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit of it. Okay, so anyway, I cut the tongue off, and then what happened was she still ain't believe me. So I took my money, and it was some hundred dollar bills up in there too. And I took scissors and I said, <laughs> "Cause I'm like, I don't need it. We're about to go." Like, <laughs> so I cut my money, and I was like, "We about to go." She was like, ah! Going crazy, mind you, she was drunk, and I was thinking, yo, it's gonna be a lot of drunk people right now while we getting raptured. They ain't, they ain't going to heaven when we go. They gonna be stuck down here with the um the with the elites when they run lawlessness and run this earth really, really like. Oh, it's gonna be crazy. They're gonna be running in people's house, snatching them up, taking them, and they're like, what are you doing? This is illegal. They're like, no, it's not. We just made a new wall that we can come to your house and snatch you up and send you to camps to the FEMA camps and kill you all so that's what's gonna happen but we're gonna be in heaven by by Felicia or the wilderness however he does it who knows this guy so anyway um where was I <laughs> so yeah anyway long story short she started crying going crazy and then she called the cops on me and she told them that I'm suicidal and that I wanted to take my sisters and kill them too. So she called the cops on me. They did questions. And I'm, I mind you, it's mad. Like it's midnight. And this lasted till the morning. So all this time I ain't getting no sleep because I'm getting questioned by cops. They took me to the hospital to get evaluated. And they all looking confused. Like you talk normal. You talk like me. That's literally what they said. You talk like me. I, I don't understand why they wasted their time. They said you talking. You're talking about how you. You know they. They said you're suicidal. She called your mother. She agreed with them. Um, yeah, it was crazy, and they were looking confused. And I said, and then they then they finally mentioned Jesus or something like that. I said, yes, that's my belief system. I'm a Christian. I believe that Jesus will come back. I don't know what they're talking about. That's what I was talking about. Y'all, they tried to send me to a psych ward. And, um, oh, what the Lord was also telling me is that even if, it's one of them even if situations. Like, even if they did, because I started thinking, like, what if they put me in a mental home? And this will happen, y'all. What if they put me in a mental home because of my belief? Because we're living in the last day, so what if it gets that real? And he was like, I will make the rapture happen that day. You're not going in no mental facility. I will not let that happen to you. So even if they try to do that, guess what? You're coming with me. But have you been left behind and they do that? Look, because you, you wasted your whole life on this earth, just partying with the world, hand in hand with the world, married to the world. Then look, <laughs> or I should say whoring around with the world. But yeah. Then look, they gonna put you in all types of stuff. But no, you live in holy, you walk in righteousness. He ain't gonna let nothing happen to you like that. So anyway, so then I'm spending a whole day in the hospital, y'all, because they I don't know what long process they was going through because they already established that I'm a completely functioning human being okay so i was there all day and it was just a hot mess it was a hot mess it was a hot mess but this is the persecution that we're living in they are persecuting christians and it's already started with me they already tried to set me up after they realized that they can't send me to a mental home 
Damn our earthly mother acted all worried. Oh my God, we just thought you were really suicidal. We didn't want nothing to happen to you. Flee. But yeah, that's the time we're living in. Persecution. Persecution. Um, and it will be your own family. And it's like, oh, Lord. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to add some scripture at the end of it to tell you what time we're living in. Because we're living in a time of persecuting when it comes to Christians. And we're living in a time where it's going to be your neighbors throwing you under the bus. It's going to be a time where your own mother, your own father, you know, like, it's going to be your enemies. It said the members of your own household will be your enemy. So, I'm going to put the scripture in, actually. And yeah, y'all, I'm not the only one that's going to have their own family members coming up against them. There's going to be more. So, trust and believe that you might think it's sweet with your family or with your friends or your neighbors. No, it was prophesied in the word of God that your family will be against you. That your neighbors will be against you. And that, you know, whoever's living in your same house will be against you. And it will not be something sweet. It's not going to be light. That's why he calls us the body of Christ. Because we're going to have to leave our earthly families behind for real and we're brothers and sisters and our father is god right their father is a devil like certain family members are not going to make it to heaven and that's the reality um so yeah guys i just pray that you have a beautiful blessed day week month and a year in jesus mighty holy precious name and um i pray that you guys understand that you guys need to guard your heart in this hour um ask god to give you revelation just ask him as if you're a child, like you know nothing and don't think you know everything because that's what these people are doing right now. They think they know everything and they don't um, as far as false prophets and people that who were called by God, but they weren't chosen because things are about to happen to them because of it. But yeah, it's about to get real over here. It's about to get real. Um. And it's crazy. I mean, like, <laughs> God is so good. He's so good. We're about to actually, like, he repays us based off of what we went through, you know? Like, those who go through the most get the most. Those who give up the most receive the most. And it's like, I'm just happy for that. I'm looking toward that. All right, and away from my problems and what happened and all of that, you know, it's like it's the blessings for me, you know, it's the way my life is aligned with the word so perfectly for me. It's the table for me that he prepared before the presence of my enemies. It's the promised land for me, it's the milk and honey for me. Period. So y'all have a beautiful, blessed day, week, month, and year in Jesus' mighty, holy, precious name.